Hi everyone. Today I have another gift box that I received from Stationery Pal. This is to advertise for their May sale. Um, they have a lot of items that are on special 99 cent days. They also have a lot of items that are 50 to 70% off. And these aren't just like knockoffs. These are genuine um, stationary products from Japan, name brands that we know and love, Pentel, uh, Pilot, you name it, Tombow. I absolutely love their products. So again, they let me choose which products to feature to you. I'll put their discount code below for their sale along with my referral code. Again, they do pay me a small commission if you decide to use these links, but with these links, you get some amazing discounts. So make sure to check them out below and I'll get into the unboxing. Now, the true unboxing with the paper and everything else is in my newly posted TikTok video. So I'll put the link for that below if you really enjoy the paper crinkle and plastic and everything else. That was one thing they asked me to make sure to do. To be honest, I barely even have a TikTok account. So that was new for me. So bear with me as I go on that learning curve. But I thought I would also do my tried and true traditional YouTube unboxing video for you. So the theme I decided to go with is actually very similar to the colors on this box. I have a pen case that is like everything pink and gray. Let me show you this. So like everything in it is pink pens, gray pens, and I use this thing. This is in my everyday carry in my purse. So there will be some updates to this because I got some additional pink items. But you know, sometimes a girl just wants to go neutral and I have a lot of caramel brown leather uh, that I carry now products with watercolor paints and crafting items and things like that. So I thought I'd go for like a cafe mocha latte feel. So I found all the products that they had on their website that kind of have that feel along with a pencil case, and that's what I'll carry with my leather goods. All right, so let's get into it. So I'll go first into some of the miscellaneous little pieces. So I love these Band-Aids. I've been looking for cute Band-Aids to take to the office. I got a paper cut like a week ago sealing envelopes and I wished I had had band-aids so this was like the first thing I put on my list as soon as I saw it. So these are cute. They're these small little square patches and they're also regular. So you have Hello Kitty, My Melody, and I always forget the name of this one. Uh, this one came out after my time so I'm not as familiar with this character but nonetheless absolutely adorable. And even though those are the shapes of the bandages and characters on them, they are packaged in a cute little Sakura pattern. But then you open it up and it's these actual, it's these actual characters and everything. So super cute. I'm looking forward to carrying those in my little emergency stash. Some things you all haven't seen yet that I'm getting into, it's a Japanese craft called Sashiko. And with Sashiko embroidery, it involves a lot of circles and geometry. And believe it or not, I do not own a compass anywhere in this house. So I did decide to pick up a compass. We'll see if this ends up working. I should have gotten the one that was more interchangeable. Um, this one is a pencil tip. I may need one that is a pen tip. So it comes with a removable eraser and a little attachment. And then, so you can use it like a regular lead pencil, or you can pull this out, and there's your little pokey thing, and it is a compass. Pretty ingenious, right? Love it. So that is one of the items getting added to my pink, pink pencil case, because that is one thing I don't have in there for sure. And it does come with extra lead and with erasers. Another interesting point about this one is it is not the standard 0.5 leads. This one is the 0.7. So I'm always adding to that pink pencil case. And this I thought was adorable. This is actually a glue pen. So this is not pink ink. This is pink glue. 
So you just write on it just like regular paper, but it's actually glue and it does go on the paper in a slight muted pink color. So you are able to see where you laid down the glue. So I'll demo this one in a minute. This is another one of those amazing washi cutters. I have a gray one already. So this is my original one. This is a gray one and it's a porcelain tipped cutter. So it doesn't hurt, not too bad at least, if you put your finger on it. And it does very good cuts on thin plastic. Like if you're trying to get that thin annoying plastic off of a pen or packaging of tape, um, it's great with detail cutting out washi. That's what I mainly use it for. But I saw this one and it has the pink. So I think I am replacing this one into my pink pouch and this is going to go into this new pouch down here. We'll get to that in a minute as well. Both of these, by the way, are available on Stationery Pal. Here she goes. She's going to join the pink pouch. This was another super cute thing. So let me show you the one I have from before. So this is one I've had um, and it opens up great, but this one is double. It has that same little cutter that we were talking about that's on this one and it has scissors. So it has the best of both worlds. What I'm not sure about is how well they cut and everything. I'm going to have a separate video just on cutters and that will decide if I end up keeping this and this in my pink pouch or if I just end up going with the one to go in my pink pencil pouch. So that will be a future video. I'll feature all the different blades and cutters that I have from Stationery Pal. Here is another cutter. So this one is light pink. I think they just call it pink. And it kind of does something similar. So it opens like this and it's a mini scissor. I have a feeling this one's gonna drive me crazy, but it is a mini scissor. But the main reason why I liked this one is for the box cutter, for the blade. So it has a nice blade for a box cutter and it's petite. So they got, they have these in multiple colors. So I got it in the light pink and in this pencil case, I think this one is called khaki. Oops, wrong zipper. I did get one for this pencil case. So it is right here. We'll get to these in a moment. And it is like a mocha color. I don't know if they called this brown or what color they called it, but I thought that was super cute. So, you know, like cutting tags off of clothing, um, I think this would be super convenient for that. So I will probably pop this pink one in my purse just to have something to cut off tags off of my shoes or my clothes as I'm going shopping, because every now and then I will just you know, buy it at the store and then wear it. So, and I'm always looking for something to cut that with. So I think I'm gonna throw this one in my purse and I'll keep one in my pencil box here. These are for a friend. She loves all kinds of cute little blade cutters and they're constantly having to open boxes at the office. So I thought she might like these. So this one is a strawberry and this one is a carrot. She might have this one. I don't know if I've already seen this one on her desk, but nevertheless, super cute. Okay, so this pencil case, I believe is called khaki. It's an expandable pencil case. So this is it in its most compact form, already filled with stuff that I've gotten from this particular haul but you can take this bottom piece and it will double in size. So it will get pretty thick. I don't have that many items in there to need it to be like this. 
So we will collapse that in a minute, but after I straight everything up. The zippers are really great. Um, they don't get hung up or anything. They run super smooth. All right, so let's get into the goodies. So we'll start with this zipper. I've never seen Tombow do a collection in this color before, and I absolutely love this metallic. It's ergonomic as well. You can rest your finger here and then just run that tape, correction tape on your document or in your book. Then Tombow, I want to say it was this year. I think this is a 2023 release. They released this amazing set. Now, it also came with a pencil, mechanical pencil, but I think they were already sold out of that, so I ended up with this mechanical pencil. And I'll show this one to you as well because um, the one that matches this set is actually this exact same model, just matches this colorway. So this is called Ash Gray, and this is really nice for that student that wants, you know, all their stuff to match. Um, there's the lead, there's the correction tape, this is a stick eraser. These are the best erasers for math homework, um, for sketching. I absolutely love this eraser. I've used these ever since I was in high school and I'm really old now. But anyway, those have always been my favorite. So these have been around for, I can truly say, generations now, and they are tried and true. You will love those erasers by Tombow. Um, this is super cute too. This is an actual pen. It is a ballpoint pen. 0. 0.5 is the size on this pen. Super cute. And I'll demo this in a minute as well. So this is a Tombow uh, pencil. It's called a monograph pencil. So what's unique about the monograph pencil is you don't push it from the top. Instead, you take this and you push down and just very quietly, it pushes down the lead for you. It's beautiful. The other thing is it has that same quality eraser these are also replaceable. They do sell refills for these. And you can actually use the top of your pencil as an actual eraser without being scared of using up your eraser because you can always buy a refill for it. And it just matches the inside of this pencil case beautifully. So the next pen I'll show you is called the Calm 3 by Pentel. I think this colorway is called Beige. In my last haul, I got a green one, and I really love the look and feel of that one. So what's amazing about this is it's super quiet. This isn't like your rattly old Bic pen we used to have in the 80s. Um, the Calm factor is they've, they've engineered these to be in a way that can be as quiet as possible when clicking from one color to the next. So you can barely hear it compared to our old clicky pens. So this one comes with three and all of these particular ones that I have in here are a 0.7. But I did also get one other one just because I love how it feels. This one is their one that only has one color in it. So it's just a standard like click pen. This is in a different size, slightly smaller. This one is a 0.5. Another thing they sell is the set or individually you can buy the Zebra Click Art pens. So these are great for underlining. And so this is um, number, they go by numbers on this one. So this is number 45, and it's like a beige. So it's great for underlining and color coding in a notebook. So I have a few of the colors. This one is number 51, and so it's in a gray. And I think I have one more, yes. This one is in a number 46, and it's like another beigey taupe kind of color. So again, I will 
sample all of these out on a piece of paper. This year, my daily scripture writing journal is my Traveler's Notebook Coffee Edition. And I'm really loving brown inks this year. So these are my newest favorite two brown ink pens that I'm using. Um, this one is called Brown and this one is called Chocolate Brown. So they have both colors. Um, initially when I purchased it, I only saw this and then later I found this one. So they do have both colors. One is brown, the other is chocolate brown. If you're really into brown inks this year like I am, you will love these two pens. Another new addition in 2023 is this short chubby pen by Uni. Now this is their bold black uh, ink that they've been using in a lot of their pens lately. It is my favorite black ink at the moment. I absolutely love journaling with this ink. So I wanted to try out and see how the chubby body felt in particular because again, it's kind of like this mocha color and I thought it would go well with my traveler's notebooks. I have a, um, I have a small, small passport from Starbucks. That's a, like a caramel. I'll link a video to that one that I use as my daily wallet. Um, and I also have the large blue Starbucks um, traveler's notebook and with my scripture writing and I thought this would be a great side pen as well. And then again another one of those uni pens and it has that same standard black. Now I did finally learn you can refill this amazing black pen very easily. Absolutely amazing. So just find the color body that you like if you're trying to like get an aesthetic with your pencil case like I love to have and you can just refill the ink with any of their standard inks at any time. And this eraser came in the same package as that pencil. So, you know, if you're doing drawing or sketching and want something a little bigger, this is the perfect eraser for that. Um, but I also do have the stick version and of course my pencil has a little bitty version on it as well. All right, so let's get to the writing samples. I did want to show you all these pens do come with a sticker on them but they are super easy to remove and usually if you remove them as soon as you get your pens like I just did they do not leave any residue so I thought I would demo this eraser since I love it so much So this is like that super, super cheap copy paper that I just have in my printer. And you can only see the imprint of where I had written, but all the graphite is out of there. It's a great eraser. So let's try the Mono Airs, especially on these inks because these inks are pretty dark. Let's also try this one. Let's go on the top portion with it. So these do pretty great at erasing. Then I wanted to demo the glue for you. We'll just do it here. Let's take a piece. So you'll see it comes out pink. And you can just glue it down. It dries clear. You can see it right now while it's trying to dry but it's pretty amazing. It sticks pretty quickly. 
it starts drying pretty quickly and when it is completely dry it will dry clear so in the links below i'll link two different links one for my pink pencil case and then the second link will be all of these products that are in this khaki or coffee colored pencil case for all of these items if you're going for that look like I enjoy of having your pencil case items match in color. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out Stationery Pal. They have amazing stationery. They ship very quickly, and I'll see you next time.